United Nations Relief and Works Agency for Palestinian Refugees, UNRWA, has said it is soon running out of food. The aid agency warned two days ago if the crossings were not reopened by Friday, then it would suspend its humanitarian aid to over 750,000 people in Gaza. The border crossings were supposed to be reopened on Thursday, but Israeli forces kept all Gaza-Israel crossings closed for what they said were security considerations, despite calls by humanitarian and human rights organizations. But today we run out of food. So 750,000 uh, refugees who are depending on our food assistance will not get food until we can get it into Gaza. It's as simple as that. The situation in Gaza is desperate. There's no economy. 750,000 refugees are dependent on handouts of food just to survive. And now we, the United Nations, are unable to get the food in to Gaza to actually feed them. Um, this is a tragedy beyond description. Israel also prevented 20 European Union consul generals from entering Gaza on Thursday. The consuls had a plan to meet with the human rights activists in the besieged coastal territory in order to learn about the humanitarian situation. In another development, Israel also held up shipments of European Union funded fuel to the territory's solar power plant. We were told that the crossings which reopened by Thursday morning trucks loaded with fuel arrived in the Israeli side of the crossings, but the Israeli army decided not to reopen the crossings. Gazans also suffering from acute shortages of cooking gas, which has forced 15 bakeries out of 50 to close down. We are suffering from shortage of cooking gas, which we use in our bakeries. We also suffer from the lack of wheat due to the Israeli closures. The situation is deteriorating from bad to worse. For the second time in less than a week, some parts of Gaza city plunged in darkness with isolation from the rest of the world, severe shortage of food, fuel and medicine. The blackout are the last straw for Gaza Strip's one and a half million residents. Israel's policy of keeping the border crossing closed is a punishment meted out to Gazans simply because of their democratic choice. And the people here continue to suffer acute food shortage and frequent blackouts. Yusuf Al-Halo, Press TV, Gaza.